Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Terry Sai. I speak positivity, exude creativity. Worship is my life, not an activity. So when I say I love God, I mean it. Cause he's my security. Thank you so much to everybody that have been watching my videos thus far and those that have liked, commented and subscribed. If you want to, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you. It's just going to be a mini tutorial showing you how I made my intro for which is at the start of all my videos that I've uh, posted. I have had some really, really good feedback concerning that. So I thought, why not share with you how I did it? It is going to be slightly different to my actual introduction, just to show in case if I want to use it in the future, I don't want to make the exact same thing. But here is the tutorial. You start by opening Keynote and then open just a basic uh, presentation and delete everything. <laughs> Um, after this you then select text and write whatever it is that you want to write so in this case I'm writing Terry Sai which is my channel name I then select my favorite font and resize it to the size I want so in this case I pick 200 um, after this I then select the color that I want this font to be so I've got my preset colors there as you can see and I've got the ones that I've mixed myself that I've saved I select one of those and that's it I download all my icons from PNG Guru so in this case I want an Instagram icon and I want a YouTube icon so there they are uh, there's different colors you then just select one download it which is right at the bottom and then wait a few seconds for it once it's downloaded it will go into your files um, I, I just um, drag and drop the icon onto my work so in this case I'm, as you can see I'm dragging and dropping them and then resizing them and moving them around until I'm happy with their positioning so you can play around with this then write the inst your Instagram name in this case and your YouTube name and then again you pick your favorite font and size till you're happy <laughs> animate at the top right you then add an effect you click build in then select add effect you'll see there's quite a lot of effects to play around with um, which are all quite nice um, for this particular tutorial I eventually choose bouncy as you can see um, I then don't like the idea that it all comes from one side so I end up choosing for it to come from random just random sides um, for my icons, I pretty much straight away pick Skid. I'm familiar with this one and I quite like it. And I do the same for my YouTube icon. Um, I then pick, select keyboard for anything that I want people to pay attention to. So in this case, Terry Sai. I just like how this looks. Um, it is quite slow, so I then reduce the time to two seconds as opposed to three seconds. And that's that. You then click build order which is at the bottom um, right <laughs> then um, you can then click as to what order you want the items to come so uh, number one it's based on how what you did what you put as your on your build in first so that's how it orders it um, so this doesn't really matter but it makes it easier if you know what's what so in this case I initially put Terry Sai and the icons to come out together at the same time but I don't like how that looks so I then change it so that Terry Sai comes, then the icons, then the names. Just as you did build in, you have to do build out, which is on the top right of the screen. Um, then you just select how you want everything to disappear. I like everything to disappear at the same time using the same effect so in this case I choose diffuse and um, I put that for everything select build order again number five five is the last one from before so you click number six was after number five and then everything else is with number six make sure that there is a delay of at least a second or two um, between building in and building out 
and then you just save it as a movie and that's it, it goes into your files. So this here is the clip without any sound at all so it's now gone into my files. To edit all the sounds, I open a new movie. Is that's why this is where I edit all my videos, and put in drag in the actual video that I've already made on Keynote. I then go on to audio and uh, sound effects, and then you can mess around with all the different sounds. You can also play around with the speed of the sounds because that will make them sound a bit different. This is the basketball bounce noise before I make it fast. The same sound but faster. So I play around with all the sound effects, crop them, make them faster if need be, until I find the right sound that I like. So it does require a little bit of, you know, dithering. But other than that, this is the final project. Thank you so much for watching the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Just to uh, summarize, I use Keynote and I use iMovie to make my intro. And then of course, I do layer it with my own music. Um, so you can put whatever songs you like. Um, something, something that I created uh, from, so literally from the beat all the way to the rap. Uh, I do hope you liked it. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. And if you got this far and you haven't subscribed, why not? <laughs> thank you guys. Have a good day or good evening. Thank you. Bye.